Okay, guys, excuse my equipment. I'm new, but I, I figured out my mom that's going back to school and figured out that uh, school was not so easy, especially in math. I mean, what they're learning in elementary school today, we were lucky to get in college. But I'm here to go over this in great detail so that we can understand the basics a little bit more deep so that we have it. It's really hard when you go back to school and they're trying to rush you so much that it doesn't sink in. But anyways, last video we learned that X equals, we don't know, we don't know what it, it means. What is it? What is X? And, and so that way we're not intimidated. Um, we're going to be doing it with the negative numbers this time. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible. If you have not seen the first video, you would want to do that. Uh, go back to the very first videos that I had started, part one, and, and start from the beginning. I suggest that. Okay, get your paper and notes out, and here we go. Um, this one says x minus 4 equals 8. Now, we want to get x by itself, right? That's what we learned. We want to get this x by itself away from that uh, constant right there, and it's a negative constant, in fact. So what's the opposite of negative 4? Well, a uh, positive 4, of course. And so and that's going to cancel. What you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay? And all we have to do from here is, they're both positive numbers, is add. Bring down the equal sign. That's canceled to bring down the x. And there's your answer. x equals 12. So, all you have to do is take that 12 and fill it in up here. Minus 4 equals 8. And 8, yeah, it looks like it is right. The next one is a y. Don't let that scare you. It's another variable. What does it mean? It means we don't know what the number is. So, we read the problem, y minus 5 equals 10. Working with another negative constant, okay? And so we're going to do the opposite, which is addition. So we're going to put a plus 5. What we do to one side, we do to the other. And we know that this cancels out, and we have to add this. And 10 plus 5 is 15, bring down the equal sign, and bring down the y, and it says y equals 15. Put the 15 in the y's place, subtract the 5, and does that equal 10? And that'll tell you whether you got your equation correct or not. And we did. It looks great, guys. I hope this is able to help you. I'm going to try to make some more practice videos with the negative... Uh, constants uh, the, in the equation and get you guys some practice just to help you out and get you going. You can do anything with practice, guys.